Joining me from Los Angeles is Roger Dettles. He's a professor of epidemiology and infectious diseases at UCLA. So, Professor, despite better drugs and new advances, why are we still seeing increases in cases around the world? This is still an epidemic. Well, the increases in the cases around the world uh, actually are due to a number of things. Part of it is uh, improved ascertainment uh, and increased testing. As in China, increased testing has, in fact, uh, been responsible for the 8% increase which has occurred uh, in the number of HIV-infected individuals uh, that are known to the government. I want to get your thoughts on China's progress when it comes to prevention and treatment. Uh, China has really taken a leadership role. Uh, once it decided to address the epidemic in China, uh, it has uh, taken a leadership role in things like uh, the methadone maintenance programs, the harm reduction programs. It's reached out to the gay community uh, in China, which has been uh, particularly important uh, as the gay population is very hard to reach. But China has been working with gay support groups, uh, and this has helped uh, in bringing more of the individuals who do not know that they're infected uh, into a diagnosis and treatment. We know that once they're brought into and diagnosed, uh, then their probability of being brought into care uh, and to control the amount of virus so that they no longer can spread the disease uh, is very high. So the real task for China uh, is to find uh, and test that one-third of infected individuals who do not know that they're infected. Uh, if they do not know that they're infected, they continue to engage in high-risk activities, uh, and they don't have access to treatment because they don't know that they're infected. You know, and the question that we seem to ask this time every year, are we any closer to a vaccine or a cure? Well, I think it's still going to be some years before we have a vaccine and before we have a cure. But we're approaching that, uh, and the amount of effort that's been put in to finding a cure and to developing an effective vaccine has been massive. I'm, I'm relatively optimistic uh, that we will come up with the vaccine. I, I think that we're doing pretty well uh, on treatment. We know, for example, in China, uh, that about 68% of the individuals who are infected uh, are tested and know that they're infected. Uh, and the majority of those then get into treatment, and almost all of them that get into treatment are treated adequately so that their viral load uh, is undetectable, which means that they can go on to lead a normal life, uh, and they will not infect others around them. When you look at all the years spent and all the money that's been raised to find a cure and a vaccine, what are some of the challenges that remain? What's preventing, uh, you say a few years down the road, what's preventing um, something like this from happening, say, in a couple of weeks tomorrow even? Well, I think it's a combination uh, of the social <laughs> aspects of the disease and the biologic. Uh, the HIV virus mutates. Uh, every time it replicates, and it replicates uh, thousands of times a day. So the problem is that the human immune response uh, to the virus is absolutely specific to each of those mutations. So we would have to have a vaccine that contained uh, literally thousands of different uh, types of HIV. So this is a very difficult challenge to overcome. Although we are making greater progress, uh, in finding strategies that will uh, hit uh, the majority of the different strains of uh, HIV. All right, Professor Roger Dettles, thank you so much for your time. You're most welcome.